Steve Way, it is a pleasure as always to chat with you and um, seems like this race comes around very quickly doesn't it because it really seems like only yesterday we were talking prior to the 2012 Virgin London Marathon. Um, We've got a bit of a habit here haven't we, it's uh, uh, the third time in a row now. We're we should stop meeting like this shouldn't we? Steve, um, I have to say, you, to me, look like you are in the shape of your life. I don't think I've ever seen you look so fit. Thank you very much. It's always good to hear the two days before the race. But um, uh, there is, a, unfortunately, a side plot to that story. You're quite right. I, I am in great shape. And to be honest, my training since the beginning of the year has been spot on. And uh, uh, my training times and everything point to definitely, he says, um, getting that sub 218 that I've actually been trying for the last couple of years. Um, unfortunately, there's a bit of a uh, 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 issue insofar as last Sunday I did actually pick up a glute niggle, which um, is a little bit of a concern, but um, assuming I make that start line, then uh, and hopefully then we're bang on for another PB this year. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go back to that injury in a minute, but I think what we have to talk about is the fact that you're even talking these figures, 218. I think it was just around about five or six years ago. Um, you were a little bit of a plodder. In fact, you weren't even plodding, were you? No, no. So, yeah, six years ago, um, uh, end of 2007 was when I uh, turned a corner in my life and started running, uh, losing weight from uh, being quite overweight and uh, giving up smoking. And uh, I haven't looked back since, really, and uh, it's certainly not a fad because here we are six, six years later and we're still going strong. So, And uh, uh, I don't seem to be able to get out of the habit of doing the London Marathon either. I keep on trying to think of another one to do in the spring, but unfortunately uh, my... Uh, my um, my uh, habits die hard, and I can't, I can't, uh, I can't resist this place every year. Now you were many years without running. Could you ever see yourself again not running? Um, no, definitely not. No, I mean perhaps not quite as intensely as I am at the moment. I think my wife would be quite glad to hear that it won't be like this forever because. Uh, uh, yeah, it can be quite intense when you're when you're trying to get that, that PB in. But I definitely, um, uh, I definitely, uh, hopefully, will be a runner uh, till the day I die. I would, uh, until injury stops me or or health stops me, because um, I certainly don't want to go back to being uh, uh, the previous Steve Way to 2000. Couch potato, smoking couch potato. One I want to go back to definitely. Now, as you mentioned, you, you're, you're looking for that sub 219. You're looking to get so sub. Two well, although, having said that, too, anything under 219 would be good because the last three years at the London Marathon have all been 219 and a number of seconds. Last year was the fastest, but it would be nice to get get away from the 219s because uh, I've got a fine collection of them, but don't really need to add any more. So, uh, sub 219, great. The actual target is sub 218. Um, and assuming uh, my latest niggle doesn't have anything to say about that, then I'm reasonably confident. Weather also looking very good for Sunday for everybody out there. Um, with five mile an hour, light winds, uh, 12 degrees, absolutely perfect. Couldn't buy better wind um, weather conditions. So no excuses on that front. And um, as some might say you are in your sort of twilight years as a, as a pro runner. Right I'm over the hill, yeah. <laughs> Definitely not. But what I was going to say is if we look at someone like Haile Gabri Selassie, he's just recently won a big half marathon. No one actually knows his real age, but we'd say he's kind of on the other side of 40. Um, so that means, and, and your body is probably well intact, having spent year, loads of years of not running. So in terms of longevity... Yeah, I mean, my, run, my running age is obviously quite low. It's, you know, having only been running for six years. So uh, even though I'm 39 in July, I've still, still, you know, think I've got the potential to go faster. I'm hoping that I might just be able to peak as I hit veteran categories, so that I can start um, uh, uh, being uh, get, getting close to some veteran records and things would be nice. So, um, yeah, if I could, I think if a, the V40 uh, uh, veteran marathon record is, uh, I think a high 215. So I'd still need to find a, another three or four minutes to uh, to challenge that but it's it's a it's a pie in the sky goal that i can i can look towards i don't know steve with your history i'd say anything's possible well i mean uh, yeah the, 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 until i stop progressing i guess uh, i i got to keep thinking high so so that's that's the goal that's the plan so looking ahead to london all being well and you do get on that start line we're looking for a 
to 18 or thereabouts? I mean, I, I'm planning on going through halfway about sort of low 68 is the is the plan um, which up until um, sort of a week or two ago I was really confident was a sensible strategy one that that my current fitness would allow so um, yeah that that again um, assuming uh, assuming all go goes okay and I feel comfortable on the morning that'll be the target sort of just low 68 and then hold on hopefully for a 217 something would be good Steve, I've got a feeling it's your year. I know you've got a few problems, but I've got a feeling, so I'm going to wish you... Are talking about the clue or other problems? Just general. <laughs> Just general. We've all got our problems, yeah, haven't we? Sarah, <laughs> my wife, would agree with you there. But, but, uh, but yeah, cross fingers, cross everything. Yeah, we've got everything crossed, and good luck, and we really will look forward to seeing you race on Sunday. Excellent. Thanks a lot. Cheers.